Hi, it's Lisa here and I just wanted to share some of the most common mistakes we see runners making. Now number one, many don't invest in good coaching. They spend a ton of money on gear and shoes, the right watch or even hydration packs, maybe a gym membership. They spend even more on signing up to events and travel costs and accommodation, but then often they just simply download a spreadsheet based training plan from the internet or take the advice of a mate who perhaps ran a marathon 20 years ago. Maybe they even get a subscription to a a running mag and they think they have all the pieces of the puzzle for a good training plan in place. It's only running right so one foot in front of the other how hard can it be? Now if you're going to spend so much time and effort and money if you want to make sure that you don't fall victim to injuries you need all the pieces of the training puzzle. What we call the five pillars of training. You need to understand strength and conditioning specific to runners. You need to understand mobility and flexibility workouts to avoid injury, to get full range of motion for a better running form, not to mention how it speeds recovery. You need to understand what type of run sessions you should be doing and when, and you need to understand how to read the signs your body is giving you. On a daily basis, you need guidance on everyday and race nutrition to keep the motor running smoothly on the best fuel possible. You also need to know how to hydrate properly and how to balance electrolytes and even supplementation guidance. You need to know what to do also when an injury strikes or how to stop that niggle from turning into a full-blown full injury crisis. And you need to get your mind in the right space with mental preparation to improve your mental toughness and resilience. Now all of these things go into the ideal training plan and will help you avoid injury, avoid burnout or even adrenal exhaustion and hormone imbalances. Not to mention those horrible plateaus we've all experienced or motivation loss from exhaustion or stress. Now the number two mistake that we see is that you also need accountability so that you can stay on track and focused and you need repeated exposure to the principles and training workouts and exercises because you don't learn things just because you heard them once. You need to hear things again and again, usually for it to be really understood and integrated into your psyche. Now the third mistake that we see people making is that you also don't need as high a mileage as you might think you do or as recommended by the old traditional coaching methods that are perhaps great if you're a 20 year old elite athlete but will just blow you to pieces if you're perhaps a mum or a dad with three kids, a full time career and a hell of a lot of other stresses on your plate. Now you can learn how to train much more time efficiently, so if you want to know how to totally revolutionise your running training, check out our free webinar by clicking the link below and get on the fast track to running success and we'll see you there.